The first winter outlook has been issued by NOAA, and there is one big factor that could affect our weather. It is La Nina. Meteorologist Ryan Breton here with a look at what that outlook shows for Maine and how La Nina could impact our winter, because we're already talking about it. Hey, Rhino. Oh, yeah. Hey, Lee. Good morning, everybody. A lot of people pay more attention to El Nino. La Nina is just the opposite. Instead of warmer than normal water, it's actually cooler than normal water in the Pacific. And this actually has a big impact on weather patterns across the globe. And it's already playing a big role. It's actually a big reason for why this hurricane season has been so active. When there's cool water here, it changes the way the wind flows basically in the upper atmosphere. There's been less wind shear in the Atlantic, which is why there's been so many hurricanes and tropical storms this year. We can also look at what La Nina typically leads to in the winter. And here in the US, it all often means that we have a jet stream moving west to east, and that brings Pacific air into uh, the northern tier of the US, particularly here in New England, and often warmer than normal weather to the south. So the outlook that came out last week from NOAA actually plays pretty uh, a heavy hand to La Nina in that above average temperatures are forecast for much of the United States, really the only zone with below average temperatures are from the Dakotas up into Montana uh, this upcoming winter. Now, obviously in Maine, an above average winter temperature wise can still be a cold one, but that does mean that trends are at least there, that it could be a little bit warmer than normal here. As for precipitation above average for the Midwest and the northern tier of the country, for us, they're not really sure just yet and that's why I wouldn't hang my hat on this projection but definitely La Nina is going to be a big player in this upcoming winter also above average temperatures in the Gulf of Maine warm ocean there means it's a little harder to cool down going forward two things we'll be watching for how much snow builds up in the Arctic this month and what happens in November I'd say about a month from now maybe we can give you a little bit more of a confident projection. Live in studio this morning, I'm meteorologist Ryan Breton, News Center, Maine.